da 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 Hey guys, it's me, Jack again. This week is going to be another episode where I recommend some useful podcasts or YouTube channels that'll help with your English listening practice. Now this week I'm going to cover the bees, the ba 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 ba's. So it's it's three anyway. And why do I say that? Well, because the very first podcast I want to recommend is from the BBC. This podcast is called Six Minute English. And actually, the BBC has a series of podcasts. So just go to BBC, just do a Google search. Actually, this is the easiest way to do it is BBC Podcasts, BBC English, BBC Six Minute English. Or you'll just find those. Also, if you go to Apple Podcasts, do the same search you will find all of these there's there's so much in there by the BBC so what i want to cover today is just BBC 6 minute english they have one they have another one that is 6 minute vocabulary they have another one that's 6 minute grammar that is just so fun but today i just thought i'd give you just the general podcast that they do 6 minute english and what they do is they there's no ads for this so you get 6 minutes of English discussion by two or three hosts, depends on the episode, where they pick and choose different English learning items and they make a conversation about it and they give lots and lots of examples. I like this podcast for three reasons. Number one, it's short. It's very short. Number two, the speaking, the, the talk speed in these episodes are easy to follow and you can just rewind and listen again and again if you need to to get what you need to uh, out of this podcast and the third thing that i like about it is it's in british english and they give you different kinds of british english because i'm not there's not just one there's several and they even give you ones that are a little bit hard to follow even for me and i'm a, i'm an american i'm a native speaker but it's a, sometimes i have to go back and listen a couple of times and that actually makes it useful practice especially if you want to travel or you need to do business in in the uk it's good to familiarize yourself with the different kinds of accents that are used The next podcast I want to talk about is another blah, 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 and it's also from the BBC. What's really fun about this one, it's a little bit higher level English, but if you're feeling confident, I really encourage you to give it a try. It's called BBC Learning English Drama, and it, that is exactly what it is. It's five to ten minute episodes where they take a topic and they make a story out of it, and they don't read a story. Sometimes there is someone who will read parts of something and then there's dialogue, but mostly it is a drama. It is like a very, very short, very short drama between several people. And what you're listening to is the story taking place, the conversations as they happen. 
So it's very fun. It's it takes all of the English that you've been learning from all of the other different places you get the English and it puts it together into a story form, but in a way that is designed for English learners, but without feeling like it's it's a little overwhelming. Sometimes like a TV show in America or like a, a, a podcast drama can feel a little bit overwhelming. And BBC Learning English Drama Podcast is designed for people who are learning English. And so while it is all native English, it's natural speech, it is a lot easier to follow and also designed in a way that it's easy to go back and listen again and again if you need to.